Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com. I'm here at Maker Faire 2015. This is Steve Dole. I met you, Steve, last year when we went out to fly quadcopters, FPV quadcopters for racing. Yeah. Yeah. You run Hovership now. Yeah, I run Hovership. Uh, we started out with 3D printed airframes and now we have carbon fiber versions called the Zool. And this is something that people have found on Thingiverse, maybe one of the most popular items. It's a really interesting story because you have a product that you design and got feedback from from the community to refine design through 3D printing. Uh, can you tell me about the first designs of the, the 3D print quadcopter? Yeah, so this size, this size quadcopter is perfect for 3D printing, and um, it's been a great uh, process through the community where I design something, people remix it, come up with their own ideas, I come up with future revisions, and it's just all about the open source ideas and being able to evolve that. And I learned a lot about that uh, from that process when I went to design my carbon fiber version. So with 3D printing, it gives you the opportunity to iterate at a very cheap and fast way. So what are the things that you tweaked or you started off with and got feedback from and then you changed for the, for the carbon fiber version? So yeah, so I, I'm able to take a lot of feedback from the community when I post photos of things online. I mean, even something as simple as this is an early prototype. You know, I came up with the idea, it's 3D printed, it's got carbon tubes in the arms. I post a picture of it online, kind of gauge interest in uh, people's feedback, and then I can incorporate that into a future design. With the materials of 3D printing, the structural integrity, it's going to be stronger at some points, weaker at other points. How did you design it so that it would be suitable for the airframe? It's something that you potentially would crash right, because you're flying FPV. It's definitely a trade-off because in order to try to match the strength and uh, durability of carbon fiber, you got to go thicker, which becomes heavier. Um, so that's why I'm kind of starting to go towards this, where it's printed, but then you're using additional materials to uh, make it stronger. And people can still find designs on Thingiverse of the original quadcopter, the 3D printed one. Can you tell me about the lineup right now of what Hovership has made? Yeah, so we got the MHQ-2, which is the version 2 of the fully 3D printed one. We have two models of the Zool, one for carrying and protecting a GoPro. And then we're working on some really small nano ones, uh, which are perfect for beginners. You can print it on a very small, frame, on a very small print bed, and uh, if you know absolutely nothing about flying, it's probably the safest option for getting going. And so if someone has a 3D printer, they can just go to Hovership and they can buy the other components from you. They can buy all the SCs, the motors, the props, and then just print out the airframe? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we even sell a hardware kit, all the little screws and standoffs you would need. You print everything else yourself. Uh, we have kits with the motors and the electronics, as you said. And you just add a radio system and battery and you're ready to go. Seems fairly simple. And with FPV, it's something that you, you're going to maybe lose or you might run into a tree. You might want to get a, be able to design it first, try it out first before you move on to something more permanent, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, so starting with 3D printed, people love the fact that they can uh, just print their own replacement parts and be ready to go again. Awesome. Thank you so much, Steve. We got to go out flying again. This stuff is so cool. It's a whole different experience. It's something you can't really explain. You have to see it to believe it. Put yeah. these goggles on and get out flying. It's an amazing experience. It takes you out of body experience, being able to race, puts you into the pilot seat. Uh, you feel like a hummingbird just zooming around in between objects. It's a lot of fun. So much fun. We'll have more stuff like that on Tested.com. Thanks again, Steve. All right, thank you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.